Welcome to this tutorial video on the Decagon Leaf Wetness Sensor. At the conclusion of this video, you should be able to understand three things. One, how the leaf wetness se sensor measures leaf wetness. Two, how to perform routine maintenance on the sensor. And three, how to wire one of these sensors into a CR1000 data logger. The Econet, in a collaborative effort with Crop Science, has installed Decagon leaf wetness sensors at all of our stations across North Carolina. The Decagon leaf wetness sensor estimates leaf surface wetness by measuring the dielectric constant of the sensor's upper surface. This sensor is placed at roughly two feet above the surface to help measure leaf wetness at the height relative to small crops. De the Decagon leaf wetness sensor measures the dielectric constant of a zone approximately one centimeter from the upper surface of the sensor. The dielectric constant of water and ice is much larger than that of air, so the measured dielectric constant is strongly dependent on the presence of moisture or frost on the sensor's surface. The sensor outputs a millivolt signal proportional to the dielectric of the measurement zone and therefore proportional to the amount of water or ice on the sensor surface. So here we are at our Lake Wheeler field site and we're going to go through kind of how to install a leaf wetness sensor if you have to, if we send one out. These have to be replaced every couple years. Uh, if you go out there and just do regular maintenance, make sure it's clean. Uh, this leaf wetness sensor is fairly clean. If it's not clean, just pour some water on it and wipe it off with a, with a soft cloth and that should clear it up. If you notice, the leaf wetness sensor is mounted to a horizontal mounting arm that's located two feet above the ground. This sensor uh, it's facing north, so our camera is north of the sensor right now. We keep the sensor facing north because we want the maximum duration of wetness on the sensor at any given time, and in the northern hemisphere, that's going to be when the sensor is facing north. Uh, if you have to replace the sensor, it's, fairly, it's really simple. There are two Phillips head screws located right here and here. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, which you can find in the white enclosure box on the tower. Some stations, the rubber, this is all rubber right here. This rubber sometimes will get worn off, and if it does, we'll have it tie wrapped on. You could use a tie wrap as well if it's been worn off, but we like to use the screws. So all you're going to do is you're going to unscrew the, the sensor, remove it, put the new sensor back in, and screw it in. Don't over-tighten, because if you over-tighten, you can actually crack the rubber, and if you crack the rubber, the sensor will no longer stay on the mounting arm. Once the sensor has been mounted properly, you're going to run the wire back to the tower, and you can tie it off with some cable ties, and then you'll be set to go to install and wire it in to a data logger. Okay, to wire a leaf wetness sensor into a CR1000 data logger, there are three wires, a red wire, a white wire, and a clear wire. The red wire is going to go into A5 on the data logger, or the blue number 5 on the CR1000 data logger. The white wire is going to go into an excitation voltage channel. Uh, in our case, it's going to be either EX3 or VX3, whatever the data logger says, but those are the identical, and it's excitation channel. The clear wire is going to go into an analog ground channel. In this example, I've put it next to the EX3 channel, but again, any analog ground channel will work, and you'll be good to go. To review, the Decagon leaf wetness sensor measures leaf wetness at two feet above the surface. Remember, the sensor measures the voltage created by water on a dielectric plate that has similar properties of a leaf. And the sensor outputs in millivolts, so the higher the millivolt, the larger the presence of moisture on the sensor. So if you have to bring a new one in, or if we give you a new one when you install it, you want to make sure the sensor is facing north. And when you install it, you want to use a Phillips head screwdriver to screw the sensor onto the horizontal mounting plate. Don't over tighten these screws as they may cause the rubber to crack to the sensor and then it will no longer stay secured on the mounting arm. If there are no screws at the site, feel free to use a tie wrap or a zip tie to keep it in place. Routine maintenance can be done involving water and a soft cloth to remove any dirt on the sensor. Here's the wiring diagram to wire a Decagon leaf wetness sensor. Remember, it's only three wires, a red one, a white one, and a clear one. The red one is your signal output that goes into A5. Your white one is your excitation voltage, so VX3 or EX3, depending on the data logger type. And your clear wire goes in the analog ground.
Thanks for watching this tutorial video on the Decagon Leaf Wetness Sensor. For more videos, visit climate.ncsu.edu.